Greetings from the Fredericktown Homestead. The tote there is now empty and the stock tank here for the cats and dogs is empty and going to be put right there. This is all cleaned out. He cleaned all that out. Uh, I like it. I like it. Just, you can just see the corn crib now a lot better. But he's going to put that right on the corner there, right in there. And uh, we've been warring on uh, burdock. I see that he didn't get this one here. But uh, yeah, this tank needs to move over uh, because. We're going to be uh, placing the posts for the porch here, the deck. One will go right about there, I think. That's where I had to move that. And then this has to move, of course, because, yeah, to get a tape measure. And, uh... Yeah, he's been taking out the burdock, some of them, but not all of them, I'm not sure why. But, uh, it'd be nice to get rid of that one right there. That's our spigot right there. It'd be nice to get all these burdocks out. I don't know why he cuts the stumps so high. I like the... That stump needs to go down flush to the ground. But, uh, we'll see. I don't know. Get this all cleaned out so that we can put the post in and the deck in. Some friendly pit bull will go. I think that was probably the last of the corn husks going into the compost. Chickens are out here in their chicken tracks. Yeah, that's nice. Complete with nesting box. I've been working on mowing this, trying to fill up the compost somewhat. And one of our priorities for today is to square out that corner of the garden from the board fence and a line we got to square that out so that he can plow tomorrow, probably. Uh, that's a priority for the day. I really wish I could bend over more. I do a lot of that myself. But my bending mechanism isn't the best. I'd like to get that done. Square out that corner. Then this will be plowed. Boy, we will be we'll be in a good spot when this gets plowed, and then I can uh, till it with a tiller. It's a nice cool day today. We, you see, all this is mowed now. I'm gonna get the rest of that mowed, get this mowed, maybe get the front yard mowed. I want to do a lot of mowing because. Uh, with them putting the corn in here and the burdock, I want to bury it. I want to bury the corn in the uh, grass cutting as all possible. Yeah. We, uh, we're getting things done here, slow but sure. Actually, it sped up quite a bit just recent here. I see my shelf got out there by the road, that's good. I like to build another shelf, but as long as it's good mowing weather, I got to continue on continuing. Try and knock this out if I can. I've got the wheels all the way down, the mower all the way up this morning so that I leave as much as possible of the 
roughage. This will be our place for the chickens to run, hopefully. Chickens have this too. Bear, you're just a menace. A downright menace. Yeah, as much as I can get mowed, I gotta get mowed. Try and get more done. Square that out. It's gonna take some work. I want to get a good before picture, because it's before and after, you know. And this is kind of a before picture, too. Before and after a little bit. And, uh, yeah, you don't cut your burdock up that high. You just don't. You cut it down to the bottom. You cut it right at the base every time. And you cut that one up the top. No good at all. You gotta cut it down to the base. But, uh, we'll try and work on that. I'm happy for whatever they do, actually. pretty morning. Nice and cool. Get some more, uh, more mowing done. Get more done all the way around. If you're enjoying our videos, I hope you'll subscribe, push the like button, and what really helps if you share it, but uh, that's asking a lot. But you'd find somebody to share it with. If you don't like our videos, you could share it with one of your enemies, one of the people you don't like. Irritate them. That might be good. Uh, is that the end of it? Yep. There you go. For now. For now. I want to uh, have a place to burn stuff, and I think that's going to be in this woods here, kind of, just set back off. I think we could have a... a burn place right in here. I think there's enough fuel to like have a campfire or whatnot. I don't know, take some cutting, some clearing, but somewhere in here we could find a spot for a see there's that big dead thing that's gotta come down, come out, burn up. And uh Yeah. Trouble is you can't have a burn spot too close to the house. Huh? One item. So I wanted to have it down here lower. If you look up in there, there's kind of a hole in amongst the trees. Not really, but kind of. Yeah, it's a pine top that's falling across here. But I picture, uh, uh, I don't know, I picture right in here, but there's an awful lot overhead. I really don't know. It might be right out here, but I don't like that. I'm not, uh, I'm not sure. When you're mowing, let's get right to the edges everywhere. Don't leave berms like this. They just decrease the amount of lawn over time. If you can grab extra lawn any place, grab it. 
don't leave a piece unmowed along the edge. I've got another edge here left unmowed. I'm going to work on this today to try and fill up the um, composter. See, I'm thinking we can grab some of that middle grass out of the middle there and start a fire. And, uh, work our way right into this. Huh. That's got to happen today, at all possible. Chainsaw might be in order to get these down low. There's some real trees in here. But it'd be nice to clean this right back so that the horse can make this a square. Because you see, he's got to have a rectangle to make a garden. And if we don't take it back, then we got to bring it all the way back to here and up to that door. Up on the door. That would lose quite a bit of garden. No, better to clean this out. That's kind of our next thing. That's kind of what we got going next. I wanted to show you... Uh, See, I put this into cover crop, and this is what we grew. Uh, boy, my bend over isn't ideal. But that's what we grew. Turnips. And, uh, but we're going to plow this. I got turnip and radish, and I'm going to get rye. And this could be turnip, radish, and rye. And, uh... The pharaohs will go this way, up and down towards the barn, away from me, you know, up and back. And uh, the horse will plow this all right up, hopefully. But we got to get that corner knocked out. We got grass enough here in the middle, here, I think, if we fork that up and that, we can uh, start a fire. And then just start putting stuff on it. The woody stuff can't go in the compost. I guess that oh, that's a uh, locust. The stuff that's coming along there. Well, I got another load of stuff. Yeah, get a cover crop on this. Get this mold right here. This all needs to be mowed here and up the side there. A lot of mowing to do. I seem to be finding more things to administrate than I do mowing. She's got the stinging nettles and the burdock. Good. Good. Bears stealing our corn husks. This can go in the trash when you go back up. Yeah. You like to burn stuff, right? Yeah. We're gonna square out that corner. We're gonna start a little fire, start a, hopefully a big fire, and um, cut the stuff and put it on the fire. And uh, 
there's quite a bit to burn right there to square that out. The horse has got to be able to go all the way to the board fence through that. He can't walk through that thicket, so we got to cut that thicket down and burn it. I'm that. And that's hopefully today. But I think he's going to plow tomorrow. Weather permitting. That good bear? No, well, you got it pretty well chewed up. I hate when you do it. This though, she's growling at me. She's growling at me when I do that. That'll help fill up the compost bin. It's gonna be a water tower, I guess. One advantage to having the water tank here is it's right underneath the eaves of the corn crib. We've kind of decided that, uh, you know, here, the cat food is going to go inside here to try and deter bear from eating so much cat food. We're finding that bear eats cat food and not dog food, so it's going to go probably right in this corner over here. It's got to be somewhere where I can get at it to feed it in the morning, but, uh, Lot to do, lot to do. There's a BB kitty! Woody, woody, woody! Oh, you've got a full belly! You've got a full belly! Baby's cat's food's up here. But she's got a full belly right now. Alright. I guess that's all I'm putting this video. I'll get back to you later. Baby's about to jump on my shoulder. God bless.